Very often, when I talk to hardware engineers, they prefer to use an oscilloscope to do their analysis. Well, with the new Energy Profiler, we deliberately copied the look and feel of an oscilloscope, and that's the, the result is what you see here in the energy graph. So you can see, just based on the colors, we tried to imitate an oscilloscope, and we provided quite a bit of functionality. So at the very top, you have your play pause button, and it does exactly what you think it would do. So I pause the energy graph here, now, going down below that, you have a session counter. And in this session counter, we show you the critical information. You see average current, average power, total energy, time span of your run. And then you can save, reset, and compare your session um, and see if you're doing better or worse with your modifications. Going around the energy, the energy graph, you can uh, zoom on the y-axis. You can zoom in and zoom out. You can do a log view or a linear view. You have your IRQ button, so you can turn off IRQ notifications or turn them on. If you proceed down the x-axis, you can zoom in on the x-axis, you can zoom out, and then you have this quick view. So right now I'm looking at a one second scale, but I can quickly uh, set that to uh, milliseconds or microseconds just by clicking on this down arrow here. Now going up, you have two buttons up here. You have the average button, and the average button shows you the average energy consumption of your overall application. So you can see it'll adjust as uh, your run continues. And then you have a volts button. If you click on it, it will tell you the, the, um, the average volts of your application. Lastly, by clicking on a point on the energy graph, you get the critical information. So for example, if I wanna click right here, you can see I get the, the microamps of energy consumption, the voltage, and the program counter, which helps me with my correlation from the graph to the code. Those are the things that make up the graph controls of the energy graph.